All right, everyone, we're back for some more horror core, taking a look at one of my favorite horror games and franchises. Uh, I'm looking at the first Dead Space, uh, playing as Isaac Clark, who's an engineer. And uh, Dead Space was definitely building on what Resident Evil 4 started with like its control scheme and everything. And uh, the survival horror elements, it all feels very similar to Resident Evil 4, but it definitely put a spin on the combat by making it revolve around like severing limbs of your enemies so um, we haven't seen any enemies yet this is the very beginning of the game uh, we just crashed into the uh, Ishimura which is like a mining planet cracker ship that we have lost contact with and uh, Isaac's wife was on the ship and it kind of opens up with like a mysterious message from her so Isaac wants to go to find his wife, and everyone's just trying to figure out what happened aboard the ship. Uh, so I haven't even gotten my weapon yet. We'll get that soon. Uh, one thing I want to point out right away is the look of the helmet. Um, I think that's already kind of an iconic image from this game, is just the helmet, like the blue glow and stuff like that. Seems like it's, everyone's uh, kind of pack in a hurry. The suit in Dead Space 2 is way better, and the detail. mask was like right on the front. Yeah. Of the well, cover of the not. box. So. There's nobody here. I can't pick uh, up the Another thing this game is toting is how there's no HUD. So you'll see the blue light on my Best back. That's like my health alive. meter. And uh, everything is kind of like Kendra. floating on screen. Get you'll that, see if you can look in front of his character. He's got that little dead. metal thing with a screen on there. So that's power. supposed to be where he's like seeing all this stuff. But for you, they just pop it up here. But yeah, the whole thing was they wanted minimum HUD. So. I already know where I'm supposed to go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually a thing I like. So if you're like, let's say you're lost in the game, you don't know where you go, you just click the right stick, and it directs you. So that's really cool. And in Dead Space 2, they even expanded on that and gave you, like, you can hit up and down, and it shows huh. you different objectives. Like, good. oh, here's the nearest store, here's the nearest save point, here's your objective. The tram system's offline. Getting around's going to be difficult. Yeah, seems to be flung again. The that sound design is something in this game that is to be bragged about. Um, what the hell was that? So in the first game, Automatic Isaac Clark is a silent character. The in the sequels, started. they made him talk. Everybody which relax. I actually like the idea to make him talk. What was that? Did you hear so that? So here we get Not our sure. kind of first look at I don't know. Something one of the enemies here. One of the necromorphs who are these alien creatures that are created using the dead bodies of the crew. So they keep coming back unless you cut off all their limbs. So yeah, now we need to run. One on my tail. Run, Isaac! Get the hell out of there! Oh, I'm running. Get away! But it's never over, is it? Because it's a horror game. <laughs> See right there, he had some limbs cut off. And that's once you get your weapon, that's pretty much the goal. If you keep shooting them in the chest, you can kill them eventually, but you're just wasting ammo, so you gotta cut off their legs, cut off their arms, cut off their head. Otherwise they just keep coming back. And just doing one is not enough. You have to cut off like all of them. Alright, so now here I get a gun. Alright, so now I have my little gun here. And every gun has an alternate fire mode, so if I hit my uh, right bumper, I can do this little side swipe, so it makes it easier to cut off some limbs. And now I got my foot stomp. Which I need to pick up, so they're still giving me tutorials here. So yeah, now I got some ammo. Alright, so I hear someone screaming, I assume they're like in this door. Game, there's definitely a lot of backing up and shooting. Yeah, and as you can see, I can use that stomp. Not only is it useful for breaking open boxes like I did before, but I couldn't remember how to reload. 
so yeah, as I was trying to say, the sound design, like, as you're running, you just hear Isaac's heavy breathing. Um, there's great moments where you go in zero gravity space, which is another feature in this game, where uh, the sound is all cut out because it's in a vacuum, but you can hear, like, your breathing and stuff. Um, trying to think of what else there is. Uh, the stomp. Like, if you have, like, a good stereo system, just the stomp, just hearing it is, like, incredible. Alright, so, there's some items back here that I can't get to yet. Uh, eventually you get, like, a, uh, force thing. It's basically the force. But, uh, it's like a stasis unit where you can hit enemies with stasis to slow them down, or you can uh, grab items from afar. Yeah, so definitely audio logs, which is, you know, kind of a horror trope to kind of give you some... Alright, so I got my next objective here. Isaac! Isaac! So yeah, again, the screen in front of his face is where all these videos are supposed to be popping up from. Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? So here's a save point. So it's definitely a game where there are no, like, uh, there are checkpoints in a sense where if you die, you don't have to restart at back at a save point. Although there are harder difficulties that do that. Um, but yeah, if you want to shut off the game, you do have to get to a save point. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now what's wrong with the tram? And you do get an assortment of guns, so this is your plasma cutter, which is the original, uh, the first gun you get, and then eventually you get a line gun, which shoots, it's kind of like a shotgun sized version of this gun that shoots like a huge wave of just destruction. But there is an achievement in this game for going through the entire game with just this gun, and it's honestly all you need. There's an upgrade system, you can upgrade your weapons, and this thing gets crazy powerful by the end. I never use the map. I forget that there even is a map, so. So, I gotta get the stuff to make these panels start working. But yeah, so this is a game, as you look around, you're gonna see a lot of vents and stuff like that, and necromorphs are just popping out of them at all times, so you kinda always gotta have your head on a swivel. So you're gonna, you're gonna turn a corner and they're going to be everywhere. And they make horrifying noises, so... Oh, didn't mean to open this, but since I did, I might as well save. I want this. No, I want the ammo! Fuck. Alright, got it. Yeah, like these vents right here, necromorphs are just always gonna be jumping out of them. I think we figured it out! Right, Smith so. killed one! Listen! Forget about shooting them in the body. So yeah, the you audio log here is telling you you gotta cut, cut off the limbs to kill like them. Cut them apart. Oh, and uh, I always go through the process of dismembering any dead bodies I find, just because like there are uh, types of necromorphs that go around and infect Isaac, bodies, so that's shooting definitely them in the body didn't helpful. Work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. Oh my gosh. Too many tutorial stuff right in the beginning. Alright. So yeah, the whole goal here is you're just making it through this ship. Alright, so now I'm gonna get my stasis thing so I can slow down. You see this door is stuck. We gotta get through. Now I can Looks use my like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the and then you can use it on enemies, up. so that like when they're running at you, you have plenty of time. Alright, which way do I need to be going? That way. And luckily, when the lights go out, you get a flashlight on your gun, so... Uh, I don't think there's ever a time in the game where you're just in complete darkness, so that's never anything you have to worry about. And I don't know if it's showing up on the video, since I do have the volume turned down so you can hear me, but I can hear some whispering going on. Alright, 
Alright, so we're gonna keep trucking along here. Am I going this way? Nope. But there's some items here. You definitely um so you're never really scrounging for items that hard. I know survival horror, they always want you to be searching for stuff. Ammo to be rare. Like ammo might be hard to come by in the beginning, but as the game goes on, you can buy ammo. So. I think that's what I was supposed to do there. Kind of slow moving, and the sequels are like much faster. Uh, can I like grab stuff yet? No. Right. Kind of missed this thing. And here, are, these are power nodes. That's what you use to upgrade your uh, weapons and stuff. If, if I find a bench, I can show you. But I'm not sure if we'll uh, run into one anytime soon. Yeah, so eventually when I can like use my force power to grab stuff You want to stomp the bodies because sometimes they'll drop items All right, so Yeah, one of those you got to use your stasis so the whole, There's a, like a tram system on the ship so they we need to switch out the tram, but one of those prongs when it shoots out, uh, shoots Isaac, back in real quick, so you, you have did to it. use the stasis. The tram is blocking the whole system. Hmm? When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram so from the control room. probably going to be a necromorph Faster jumping out of me somewhere here. I can hear something crawling around out there. One thing that the game likes to do, yep, there we go, is, uh, kind of drown out the sound effects and then throw necromorphs at you so you can't hear them. I'm gonna make myself dizzy here slowly around. Alright, so that thing should be good now. And replacement complete. Oh, I hear one. Hear one somewhere, one running around. Where is it? There's an example of how turning your gun and uh, they got different kinds of enemies that come at you so you might have to switch the thing make it easier to cut off the limb. Uh oh. I feel like I'm probably kind of low on ammo here. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay Oh, I forgot. Bay I do have a melee the attack. The data should be somewhere inside. Uh, you don't often get a chance to use it, but... It is there. Alright, so... I do have... 10 ammo. Where's the switch? Alright, so let's kind of look at my inventory here and see what I got. Got a good Isaac, amount of health kits, one stasis kit, and it looks like the door only to the 12 more locked. ammunition. There should so, be a key somewhere in the little low on ammunition, but. Yep, there we go. Alright, well he's gonna try to run by that thing so it's a little I don't know how he didn't just explode there, but whatever. I tried to say 
awesome, but I'm out. So maybe the biggest complaint about the Dead Space games, and not so much this one as uh, the sequels. Um, so a lot of people make the comparison that Dead Space 1 is Alien and Dead Space 2 is Aliens, and they're not wrong. Although I would say Dead Space 2 is the best one of the franchise, which, you know, probably just like Aliens. Alright, what's my ammo situation? Still got 10. Alright. And where am I supposed to be going? I am going the complete wrong way. Yeah, so that stuff does get helpful. But uh, Dead Space 3 is easily the most combat heavy of all the games, and easily the weakest of all the games, but I still think it's okay. Uh, the, the first half of Dead Space 3, like the opening sections of the game, because it starts off um, with like, looking at another group of people and then it jumps to Isaac and then there's this whole section in the first half of the game in space and that section is easily the best section of the game and then you go down to this planet and the rest of the game's on there and all the stuff on the planet is kind of weak so man I don't remember this many necromorphs at the beginning of this game always want to make sure your gun is loaded and there are tons of little secret things all around you want to look for. I have text log, I definitely want to read that. And they're coming in fast and heavy. I think there is only... In every horror game that features a lot of elevators, and this is definitely one of them, I expect an enemy to be right outside an elevator every time I go down one. And I don't think that ever happens. Or I expect an enemy to be in the elevator, I should say. And uh, I don't think that ever really happens in this game. I think there's like one time you go into an elevator and one drops in from the ceiling. I'm always going the wrong way. Alright, now where? Okay, I need to go in here, but it's locked. Oh, I have the key. Here. Alright, so there's a workbench, so now we can look at that. Alright, so check these lockers here. What's that? Data board. Alright, so that's the item I needed. Alright, so now we get a workbench here, so now I can upgrade my gun with whatever I got. So right now I got my gun, my rig, which is my health and stuff, and uh, how much oxygen you have, and then my stasis, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade my gun, and so it shows you how many nodes I have on the right and what I can do, which I want to do some more damage here, so, and then we'll do capacity. So each one of these spots requires a node. Isaac, take the board back to the tram control and plot it into the computer oh, array. Then take the transmitter back online. Oh, jeez, I can't reload. I only have eight shots left. Where'd he go? Oh. happening. Oh, this is not good. Holy shit. And I'm out of ammo. Inventory full. Alright, so I can use some health here. Just hit X to use health. Man, I don't know. I slow down real bad there out of nowhere. Um, yes, that was kind of insane. I don't know why. I'm slowing down because of my recording, so. Uh, this is probably a good place to call it quits for Dead Space, then. Uh, sorry about this late game slowdown here, but I think I showed enough of the game. Uh, definitely going to be looking at the other Dead Space games, so we'll look at Dead Space 2 here real soon, and then 3. But uh, thanks for watching. There's going to be some more horrorcore coming in the future, so be sure to like and subscribe, and 
stay tuned for that.